some people are out there, well, we should do a Kickstarter campaign to get you up on the next. I'm like, look, these things are blowing up. I don't <laughs> I really want to go up on the next SpaceX. You know? uh, as much as I would love to get into space, it was my childhood dream um, until they stopped blowing up. It's not something I'm going to be too interested in. Yeah. Um, but I'll tell you, I, I have seen footage. Uh, there was a German rocket that went up uh, a couple months ago. And it got up to, I believe it was about 75 miles, 73 miles, something like that. Yeah. And it had cameras on it. It's spinning around, and it's flat, man. Uh, when you See, the problem is people are using all these fisheye lenses, um, and a fisheye lens is going to be pretty close to accurate whenever the subject or the, whatever you're looking at is across the center of the lens. But as soon as that camera tilts up or down, it's all warped out of whack. And, you know, you get concave, convex, you know, the Earth is the incredible morphing blob. Um, <clears throat> so this particular thing, uh, with a rocket, when the horizon went across center, it's flat at yeah. 73 freaking miles. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I've seen the weather balloon stuff uh, up to like 130,000 feet. Mm-hmm. And I mean, that stuff's flat as a pancake. Um, and I saw another one that was uh, about 60 miles, if I remember, that was shot way back in the beginning with, with a V2 rocket. It was black and white footage, and the thing's going up there. And as, the thing, as it starts to tumble back down and the horizon goes across the center, it's flat. Black yep. and white footage, V2 rocket. Yep. So w- at, at this point, I'm looking at this saying, uh, of all the information that we have, barring NASA, the government, and the military – uh, of the war, and, and that goes for any government or military in in the world. Barring all that, the only information we have is from experiments like the ones I just talked about, or civilians sending up weather balloons. And in every single case so far that I have seen, in fact, somebody just posted uh, on my Facebook page. You've probably seen it going around. Teenager floats uh, whatever thirty pound uh, camera into space to capture curvature of the Earth. Right, right. Problem is, if you click on that video and watch it, as soon as that horizon goes across the center of the screen <laughs> it's flat yeah so i mean all everybody in the beginning was like oh if you've ever flown on an airplane you've seen the curvature Bam! sorry <laughs> <laughs> they don't get above forty thousand feet civilian planes so ain't nobody seen the curvature i would have said it myself you know if i've traveled the world many times i would have said yeah sure i've seen the curvature of the earth that's because my brain told me i did but yep. now that i'm out there looking for it Anytime I've been up in a plane since April, I'm taking pictures out my window, bringing it into the Photoshop, put a parallel bar across it. It's flat as a pancake. Bingo. Can, and, can I say something to that real quick? Yeah. Um, even though it's my show, right? I have to ask. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't. You can't. No, I'm a photographer, so I know exactly what you're speaking of. Um, and I show people when I shoot their picture, uh, especially with a 16 by 35 uh, wide lens, uh, how you can change the perspective and force it and do all crazy things with it. And like you said, you turn it and it gets all wonky. However, um, a lot of people believe, you know, they, they say seeing is believing, right? So in terms of going into space, um, there's a certain sense of weightlessness, right? Where we're always told you go into space, you float, right? Well, I've seen the same phenomenon in water, right? Our own astronauts uh, float in water, right? Yep. Uh, falling from space. Well, you're falling because the gravity is bringing you back into Earth. Okay, well, I've also seen deep-sea divers when they go beyond a certain point, the water just pulls them down really fast. Mm. So I guess what I'm getting at is, you know, seeing is believing. We don't know what's up there just by sending a camera, right? We don't know what... But- Cameras are at at best they're inconclusive. That's what I mean. Yeah, because of the types of lenses and whatnot. Uh, but I will say, from what I have seen so far, um, anybody who thinks that they've seen the curvature of the Earth at anything below seventy miles, you're you're on crack. Yeah. It's not there. Yeah. Um, uh, you, you're convincing yourself that it's there, but it's not. And and that's proven by as soon as the camera that that the object goes across the center of the lens, man, it's flat. And that's showing it as true as, as that type of lens can show it. So my question would be then, okay, if we actually physically go up into some, in some kind of craft or whatever uh, with SpaceX or something, uh, NASA in the future, um, what type of windows are they going to have? There you go. Yeah. Mm. yeah, and what disclosure agreements are they going to have to sign? Right. And, and, and how high would they even be allowed to go up anyway? 
You know, right. are they going to go up 70 miles or are they just going to skim? You know, they're going to go. Not that it would matter anyway, because if there's no curvature, like you said, if there's no curv- curvature with the weather balloons at 120, 130,000 feet, there's no curvature at 70 miles. Look, if there's no curvature at 70 miles. I, you're not going to see it at 100. You know, you're probably not going to see it at 200 it's because it's probably not there at all. And to, to your to your point, Jonathan, yeah, sometimes you can't – it doesn't necessarily tell us, what we, tell us what we see, but it does tell us what we don't see, which is th- th- at this point – and you know me, I, I like a little bit of a curve or, and a warp in my model. I, I haven't seen anything. I haven't seen any curve, even the slightest amount of curve. So, you know, is it possible that the pure, the pure flat earthers uh, were, were right along along? This thing's tabletop flat. It's very possible. 